Right, I'm gonna show you everything that I have for my meal prep this week. I am starting a new meal plan, um, trying to get rid of some, just clean my body out. And, and so I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to create a nourish bowl. And this bowl is going, I'm going to use quinoa. I have some chopped kale. I have some avocado that I'm going to put on there. I'm going to be dicing these sweet potatoes and roasting them in the oven to add to the bowl and then i'm going to have some black bean in there then i'm going to also make a kale and beet salad i have these beets were so big when i went to whole foods yesterday these are actually small compared to the ones that i saw i had um, i'm gonna add blueberries this time i haven't um, actually used blueberries in this salad before but I'm kind of going off of a meal plan and I'm just making my own adjustments. And blueberries is on the schedule for this week. So I'm going to add blueberries in this. I had more, but I dropped some on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to add a red onion. I have some minced garlic and, of course, kale. I'm going to make a dressing. I'll add that information later. I'm going to be having some cucumbers to snack on, and I just like my cucumbers. I'm just going to slice them, cover them with olive oil, and I like to put lemon pepper on mine. You may want to just put salt and pepper or nothing. I'm going to be making a blueberry and banana smoothie each day. I have some, of course, frozen blueberries. I'm going to, be, I'm going to make these um, little packs, so every day all I have to do is just grab one of my Ziploc bags, and add it to the blender and the rest of the ingredients and that'll be done so the bananas will be frozen and then i have wheatgrass powder um i'm gonna add some flax seed and some chia seeds now i've never ever had a chia seed <laughs> so this is going to be really new for me so i'm going to be adding chia seeds and then i just bought some lemons um, ginger and turmeric just to make um, I'm not gonna make a full jamu juice like I have if you want that recipe I do have it on my page or on my channel um, but I'm just gonna have this lemon water I'm gonna squeeze the lemons so I just have the water or the lemon juice so I can add it to tea if I want a green tea or if I just want to make like a ginger tea um, I just bought these to have on hand they're good to have for a detox so I'm gonna get this all prepped up and then I'll show you everything once it's completed. Right, I got all my potatoes cut. I'm gonna just drizzle on some olive oil. Wanna make sure that they're all coated. And I'll mix them around. I'm gonna put some seasoning on. I'm gonna use some turmeric. I'm not measuring. I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of turmeric. Probably about a teaspoon. I got some allspice. I 
have some white pepper. Very lightly with that. And then a little bit of pink salt. And then I'm just gonna mix them around like this to get everything coated and bake these in the oven. I have my oven set for 425. I believe it'll probably take about 30 minutes. But I will let you know for sure how long I had to leave these in the oven. Now I rinsed these off so they were a little wet so I dabbed them dry with the paper towel as well before I added the oil and everything. And you can add other seasonings if you want. These are just the ones that I wanted to try. Now I'm going to prepare the beets. I've rinsed them off and I'm gonna boil them first. They're so hard for me. It's easier to boil them before I start to try to cut them and do all of that peel them, anything. I just usually always boil my beets first. So I'm gonna get them going. They take a little while um, to boil. I don't put any kind of seasoning or anything in the water. I just rinse them off and boil them. Now I'm going to make the quinoa. I have two or four cups of water and I have two cups of quinoa. I've rinsed it. It always says to rinse it until the water runs clear. Honestly, it always runs clear for me, so I don't even know why I have to do that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Hopefully this pan is gonna be big enough for this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna um, boil this and cook this up and have that ready as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice up the cucumbers while well, that the beets and the quinoa are boiling, cooking, and then the sweet potatoes are still in the oven. I'm gonna get the cucumbers ready. And I like to have mine without the skin. I know the skin has some nutrients as well. If you like that, you can leave the skin on. I'm just going to slice these up. cucumbers are sliced and I'm just going to add a little olive oil you can put some apple cider vinegar on these if you want I think I will I just happen to have some in the fridge put a little apple cider vinegar on there I'm going to add some lemon pepper You can add salt and pepper. You can put onions in here if you want. And then I'm just gonna toss these and these will be a snack. It's been 30 minutes and look at these beautiful sweet potatoes. They are ready, they're nice and soft and ready to come out of the oven. But they look amazing. So this quinoa may be a disaster in progress, y'all, because I didn't read the directions close enough. Actually, this is supposed to yield about six cups, and this pan is not six cups, I don't think. <laughs> if it is, it's just to the top, so we're gonna see. But it's getting there. Okay, I have rinsed off the black beans. There's two cans of black beans. I rinsed them off and I'm setting them to the side so I can 
use them in a bit. I'm going to cut this red onion, which I'm going to be honest, I don't like cutting red onions because they're strong. That's why I always get sweet onions. But for this recipe, for this um, meal, see, they're just beautiful onions. So, got to deal with the with the, t the tears, I guess, <laughs> to get the beauty of this onion. It just makes the salad look pretty or whatever, you know, you use it in. So, I'm going to take one for the team and get this... Um, beautiful onion chopped up so it'll be ready to go when I start to assemble the salad. All of the purple onion is chopped up. A trick that I used, my eyes start burning, so I added the ones that I already chopped up, put them in cold water. I rinsed the onion off and took the ends and threw them in the trash. So that's typically um, I believe that's the part that really burns. So um, once I did that, I'm good. So that may be a trick if you have an issue as well with these burn in your eyes. Just put the pieces in a, some cold water and rinse, rinse the onion off and do it as quickly as you can without hurting yourself. The quinoa is ready and thank goodness it did not overflow the pan. And I just want to say these are so good. I tasted one or two they are delicious they're crispy a little bit crispy on the outside and nice and tender on the inside i'm getting ready to make this dressing now i am making this from my heart and my head i don't have any measurements i'm just going to see how this tastes and i'm going to show you how i'm doing it i am going to start with some veganaise this is avocado oil veganaise i've um this is all they have available so this is the one but i actually like vegan eggs brand i was buying um helmets for a while but they ran out and this one seems to be available more so i'm going to take about three heaping tablespoons of the vegan eggs I have some stone ground mustard and I, I'm almost out so I had to put it upside down <laughs> I'm hoping to get about a tablespoon of this as well and that's about all I have left this is a really good mustard I am going to add some garlic powder, just about a half a teaspoon. Well, I'll say a teaspoon of garlic powder. Maybe an eighth a teaspoon of salt, pink salt. I am going to put a little agave. I want a little sweetness in there. So I'm going to say a teaspoon of agave. Mix this up for an hour. See what we have. I like the color of it. Let me see if I can get a better light. That's a little bit better. It's kind of gloomy out today, so lighting is not very good. Um. All right. Taste this and see what we got. Mmm, that's good. So to make this a dressing, I'm just going to add a little bit of almond milk. Start off with a tablespoon almond milk, and just add almond milk till you get the consistency that you like. I don't like it to be too thin. I'm 
That's a good consistency, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And I think that's it. This is a simple dressing that you can use to cut for the um, kale and beet salad. And I have a little bottle here. These are very inexpensive. You can get them at the dollar store. And I'm gonna use this to put my dressing in. Didn't quite fill up the bottle, so I would have to double the recipe. But like I said, I was almost out of this mustard, so this was just enough. I'll have to make this again, but this is a good dressing. For this meal prep, I'm gonna put all my kale in one container, um, and I'm just gonna basically put it in here, and all I do with the kale, is massage it with olive oil. It makes it easier to eat to me. So I just put a little, drizzle it a little bit with olive oil. It really doesn't take a lot. Sometimes I think I put a little bit too much. And then you just go in there and just massage it down. A lot of times these pre-cut, they leave the big stalks in there. So I try to take out some of those um, but just to get this ready, I have it all massaged and ready to go. So all I have to do is get in this container and grab some kale. If you want, you can season it uh, with a little garlic, pow garlic powder, um, salt, however you want to do it, or you can just leave it as is. I normally put some topping on my salad. I don't typically season it as I'm massaging it. I do that later. So this whole, whole bag can now fit in here because I'm gonna massage it in. I don't even need any more oil. I have plenty. It's kind of messy. So you definitely want to make sure your hands are good and clean before you start doing this. Or you can wear gloves if you want. You still want to make sure your hands are clean, in my opinion. Now, one thing about massaging this all at once, when you put it in the refrigerator, it's going to make it a little, um, kind of, you know, the oil will get cold. So, you might have to leave it setting out for just a minute. Or you can massage it as you go. It's your preference. I always try to just do it ahead of time so I don't have to mess with it. So, here is the Nourish Bowl. I put the kale in, I got all the ingredients, the kale, purple onions, black beans, sweet potatoes, blueberries, and quinoa, and then topped it with avocado. I'm not going to have enough to do this for the whole week with the avocado. I'll have to get some more. And then I'm just going to drizzle some of this yummy and delicious dressing on. What I forgot to get are the seeds. So I will have to get that. I was going to put some sesame seeds on top of this as well. But I may just top it with a little flax or maybe some chia seeds.
This is my second bowl and I have the beets all cut up. So they finally got done. They took a long time. I went ahead and added quinoa to this bowl because I have so much quinoa left. So didn't need to make as much as I did. I doubled the recipe, but it really only needs one cup of quinoa and two cups of water. That will make you about three cups of quinoa cooked. But that's okay. We'll use it. I'm going to top this with some minced garlic as well. How did the garlic? I'm almost finished with the meal prep. I'm making the smoothie bags now. I have five smoothie bags here. Now I had, I wanted to make blueberry and banana smoothies, but I had a few, very few strawberries. So I didn't want them to go to waste. So I've added these, just a couple, two, one bag only has one, so. I added these strawberries in and I'm getting ready to cut up a banana in each bag. So each bag will get one banana. I put about four tablespoons of blueberries. A couple of bags got, have a little bit more. Um, so about four tablespoons of blueberries. I have these few strawberries and one banana that I'm chopping up. So in the morning, when I'm ready to make my smoothie, all I have to do is grab one of these bags, pour it in. I'm gonna be adding almond milk. You could do coconut water if you prefer. I'll be adding wheatgrass powder, flax meal, and some chia seeds. And that will be my smoothie. Meal prep is finished and I am so glad to be done. <laughs> So I have a total of five days worth of meals. I have five smoothie packs. And then I have two meals, one for lunch, one for dinner. I have my snack over here with my cucumbers, sliced cucumbers, which one thing with putting the oil on them, when you put them in the refrigerator, they get a little, um, like the oil thickens a little bit so you can leave them out for just a sec, you know, a few minutes to get that to loosen up. And then chia seeds, flax meal, wheatgrass powder for my smoothie. And I have some lemons to make some lemon juice and some ginger and turmeric just to make, you know, add this to tea or just drink hot for detox. So there we are done. It's a lot of work. It's my first time doing meal prep, so it probably took me longer than maybe it should. I don't know. I did take some breaks in between, but it's going to be worth it when all I have to do is grab these out and make my meal for the day.